As a memorial grows outside the First Baptist Church in Sutherland Springs, Greg Zanus is hard at work. And here's another family. Zanus, a retired carpenter, packed up his truck with supplies a few days ago and headed to Texas to leave a wooden cross for each victim of the mass murder. Really kind of feeling like I'm bonding with these families. The passionate Christian says it's the least he can do. Well, right now I just wrote a family, two, two exactly the same. And I, I just can't imagine how devastated the rest of the people are when they lose two family members. 66-year-old yeah. you know. Zanus came from the Chicago area where he says he puts up hundreds of crosses each year for victims of violent crime. We're in America. You're in a place that there is so much violence. Well, I mean, Chicago is the, the poster child, but heck no. You can't go to Orlando or Vegas and enjoy a vacation anymore. Hoping to send a message of strength. Just trying to be kind of a role model for, you know, for the, kind of the working class people. I know the pastor's got all the answers, but actually, again, I'm the guy building those churches and those houses. So it's going to be a long time until things are back to normal here for you. Sometimes pausing for a smile. Do I get a huggy? There you go. <laughs> and a prayer with people passing by. In a church of all places, and just have faith that it's going to be back to normal someday. And so as we await another day here outside the First Baptist Church, we're reminded not only of the tragedy, but also of the good in people. In Sutherland Springs, Wes Rappaport, KXAN News.